Xiaomi has started rolling out MIUI 11 and a 10 OTA for Poco F1 users. This is a stable MIUI 11 build based on Android 10, brings a minor improvements to the device. I have been using this ROM for almost a week now, and I have noticed there is a huge bump in terms of performance. Hey, what's up guys, KSK here, welcome to this video. Now let's start talking about MIUI 11 and 10 performance. Now this update is very big in size, it's almost 1.7 gigs in size, which brings a few changes to the system. If you want to know what's new in MIUI 11 and 10, I made a separate video on the topic, just gonna go ahead and check the link in the description for more information. Anyway, aesthetically it is not a major update, but performance wise you definitely notice a major improvement. The all new Android 10 feels much faster in terms of gaming compared to Android Pie and I'm going to talk about gaming in a moment. Now, normal tasks like opening applications is much quicker and better now. In the previous version, the device tend to struggle a little bit when it comes to opening applications. But thanks to Android 10 update, MIUI 11 feels much faster and won't exhibit any stutter or lag. Now, talking about core performance, yes, MIUI 11 Android 10 has a sweet surprise. It's now support a feature called Angle, aka almost native graphics layer engine running on the top of Vulkan API. So what it does in the real world, the main idea behind this Vulkan Angle support is it is integrated into the Android Q which deals with abnormal app behavior caused by multiple OpenGL ES vendors currently being maintained by different vendors. So long story short, Android 10 doubles the performance of Vulkan graphics in the form of Angle. What that means is that optimizing games for countless devices for developers will become much easier. It helps to get higher frame rates shorter loading app times and low power consumption. So there is a new setting which is present inside developer settings called a game driver preferences. This lets you select between multiple drivers. I recommend the game driver option. Enabling this option will improve the performance and provides a lag free gaming with smoother FPS. I'm exactly not clear about these graphic drivers as of now in depth, but I can say that the Vulkan performance has been improved. Some users are started testing the benchmarking the Vulkan API, and the screenshot shows a Geekbench test that reveals the power of Vulkan API in Android 10. The score is almost double compared to Android 9, and it's a good thing to see. So overall, I would say this update brings a performance boost for sure without any doubt. Lastly, the battery life of Android 10 is okay. I have noticed this update is having a idle battery draining issues. If you talk about my screen on time, I'm getting around four to five hours on average. So the bottom line of this video, except the minor idle battery draining issue, the gaming performance has improved. What do you guys think about it? Let me know if you notice any improvements in terms of performance in the comments down below. That's pretty much it. This has been KSK Royal. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.